Hi everyone, this is Mike89. Uh, welcome to the 11th and final video in my Sonic 3 and Knuckles with Knuckles tutorial series. Uh, this video covers just Sky Sanctuary, which is the final boss in Knuckles' story. First thing that can happen here is that uh, as you gain control back from that teleporter, it is possible to jump and then glide out to this point where Egg Robo picks you up. Uh, it's a fun little party trick, but don't do it in a run because you'll lose over 30 seconds in the second phase of the fight, and it looks really silly. So instead, just hold right, set yourself up underneath the claw, jump up to him, get caught immediately, and then you immediately get sent gliding to the right, hold left on the way out of this fall, and slow yourself down as quickly as possible. Immediately spin dash, get one, two hits like that, and then move back over here. You want to set up uh, as Metal Sonic is falling after these cycles. On the inside, like this, uh, so towards the middle, the inside half of uh, Metal Sonic sprite, jump up into him, and then bounce back down. Uh, this run then jumps further times, but I would recommend spin dashing here instead. Uh, let's get that started again. One, two, three, four. So you can, it is technically possible to get five hits there, but not worth going for. Um, so that's the ideal case, is he just stands in place like that. Uh, the other thing that he can do is he'll face uh, away from the center instead and skid back over to the other side. Uh, you can still get four hits if that happens, it's just a little bit slower and you will take a hit after the first one, which is why you jump for that first one. But then you would just be standing here and you want to do the same thing as you would have on the in the first round of hits. Spin dash over to the left, jump, jump glide, drop, jump glide. Here I didn't have to worry about that, I had the right luck. Um, so the first phase of the fight is just 8 hits, the second phase is 8 hits as well. Uh, it goes a little bit differently. Uh, from the moment that Metal Sonic touches this Master Emerald here, he becomes completely invincible. Uh, from then until the time that he drops after firing the energy orbs. So, uh, Metal Sonic's going to sweep the screen three times, left, right, and then left again, and then once he stops here, he has two options. He can either fire the orbs at you, or he can dive at you like this. And that actually happens really quickly, so you've always got to be ready for it. There's no way that we know to manipulate which attack comes out. Which is unfortunate, because if he does that dive, he then goes into that cycle again that wastes over 5 seconds. So you don't want that to happen. Uh, so you can see here he fires the orbs. There's only 3, you just got to dodge them, and then set again, set up on the inside of uh, Metal Sonic's sprite. And then just as he drops down, turns back to blue, jump once, jump down, jump twice again. And then he curls back up. One, two, curls back up. And then he stands over here near the Master Emerald. And you can just get one, two, three jumps in before he lands on the Master Emerald again and makes himself invulnerable. But you want to be as close to him as possible so that you can get those hits. Uh, and then the second phase is just the first phase over again. So even if you only get four hits uh, in between those first two cycles, it's actually okay. But you don't want him to land on the Master Emerald with six or seven hits, because that uh, puts him into a much slower cycle. Anyway, that's the stage and that's the run. Um, we'll now go play that again without any interruptions.